March 9th is National Meatball Day. So we're getting ready a little early. We're here to celebrate and to help us is Lauren Haney from Haney Ever After the Blog. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having so me. everybody loves a meatball. And and now there are meatballs for there are vegetarian meatballs. Mm -hmm. There's uh, you know different kinds of grass fed, which is what we're gonna <laughs> take a look at. There's your traditional, there's Italian, there's just so many different types of meatballs. So you can see why they're so popular, such a versatile food. Mm -hmm. So uh, Tell us a little bit about what you're gonna make today and this brand that I think I've seen before but haven't heard a lot about. Right, so today I'm gonna to be making a sugar-free barbecue meatball. And so I'm using this brand called Beatnik. And yeah. so what makes Beatnik so great and why I like it is that it's something that I feel comfortable giving my family because it's organic, it's grain-fed meat, it's really simple ingredients, super easy, and it's gluten-free. So if you're eating gluten-free or you have kiddos with um, gluten allergies, really great find. You can find it at Kroger. Here. Yeah, that's another one of the things that I've noticed lately is that, that there's so many different needs nutritionally, whether you're right. vegetarian or vegan or gluten-free, and sugar-free, all kinds mm -hmm. of things. And I have to admit, we didn't know before with beetnik. We thought maybe it was made of beets, but there's no beets in no it. Beets. That's just the name of it. Okay, so grass-fed very healthy for you. Mm -hmm. So we take the the, the uh, meatballs. Do we find these in the, the frozen food section? Yes, so they're okay. in the frozen section. And a nice little touch is they do have the resealable top, so you don't have to use them all at once. That's very nice. Yeah. All right, so show me how to make okay, the cool. barbecue so one. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do is make a barbecue sauce. It's sugar-free. It gets the sweetness from dates. So all you're going to do is take your garlic and onions, saute them up a little bit, okay. add some water, and then you're just going to add all the rest of the ingredients. So anchovy paste gives it a little bit of tang. Oh, I was going to say, yeah. what's the anchovy paste for? Interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's a can of tomato paste, some Dijon mustard, that's balsamic vinegar and then like I mentioned the dates, dates it, yeah, yeah it gives that you up. that really nice like sweet flavor that you're looking for you're gonna add it all into the saucepan uh, heat it up for about two minutes and then when you get it take it out and put it into the blender and then it's gonna look a little bit something like this so you're gonna get this like barbecue sauce looks like you just got it out mm -hmm, of the store yeah. exactly and then so to make this all you're gonna do is prepare your meatballs to uh, taste you can saute yeah. them you can bake I'm them get a spoon because I want to yeah. try it if I can find a spoon down here. <laughs> Somewhere there's one I know. And then you're just gonna pour them into your bowl, coat them up, and then you're going to have your uh, sugar-free meatballs. They're really, really good. Like I said, super simple. If you're running home after work, you know, you have somewhere to go with your kids, quick lunch, really easy thing to take to a party. Yeah, very good. Now, do you do anything with this afterwards? Like, would you put it in a crock pot for a while or just since they're already be warm, yeah. you could just kind of warm it up with the sauce? Yeah, you just kind of warm it up with the sauce and you can really do whatever. I think it'd be really good for a, um, like a meatball sub if oh, that's yeah. what you wanted to do or and something the, like that. The fun thing about, since you've got the already prepared meatballs is if you jump into the sauce, you know, some people may not want the sandwich. Like yeah. if you're doing the low carb, you could just eat that right like you that or it just like that. have a salad with it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try the sauce because you know, I'm a vegetarian so I don't <laughs> eat the meat, but I just definitely wanted to try and see how, oh, that's really good. Yeah. For being sugar-free? For being sugar-free, yeah. My goodness, that's delicious. Very, very good. Okay, well, we're gonna get the recipe from you. Yes. And we're gonna make sure that's on local12.com if you wanna try this. So thank you for introducing us to this brand. Uh -huh. And where can we find you again, your blog? You can find me at Haney Ever After on Instagram. I share live sale content, um, local things to Cincinnati, and what I'm up to. Okay, great, well, thank you so much. Thank you.